May I have your Lordship's permission to commence the proceedings? Yes, communication has been received from Honorable the President of India. The communication reads as follows. July 16, 2024, 25th Ashad, 1946 Shaka. In pursuance of the provision contained in Clause 6 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Dr. Justice Dhananjay Yashwan Chandrachud, Chief Justice of India, as the person before whom Sarvasri Justices Nomi Kapam Kotishwar Singh, Chief Justice, High Court of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. Upon their respective offices as judges of the Supreme Court of India, make and subscribe an oath or affirmation according to the form set out for the purpose in the third schedule of the Constitution of India, signed by the President of India. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Chief Justice Nome Kapam Koteshwar Singh reads as under By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Shri Justice Nome Kapam Koteshwar Singh, Chief Justice of the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office. Given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, the 16th day of July in the year 2024, 25th Ashad, 1946 Shaka, in the 75th year of the Republic of India. Signed by the President of India. May I now request Honorable Sri Justice Nome Kapam Kotishwar Singh to take oath. I, I, Nomai Kapam Koteshwar Singh, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established, that I will bear true faith. Of India that I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India, that I will do the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws, and that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Warrant of appointment of Honorable Shri Justice R. Mahadevan reads as under By virtue of the power vested in me by Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution of India, I, Draupadi Murmu, President of India, do hereby appoint Shri Justice R. Mahadevan, Judge of the Madras High Court, to be a judge of the Supreme Court of India with effect from the date he assumes charge of his office, given at Rashtrapati Bhavan, New Delhi, the 16th day of July in the year 2024, 25th Ashad, 1946 Shaka, in the 75th year of the Republic of India, signed by the President of India. May I now request Honorable Shri Justice R. Mahadevan to take oath. I, I or Mahadevan, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, having been appointed a judge of the Supreme Court of India, do swear in the name of God, do swear in the name of God, 
that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of India as by law established. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of India. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. That I will duly and faithfully and to the best of my ability, knowledge and judgment. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. Perform the duties of my office without fear or favor, affection or ill will. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. And that I will uphold the constitution and the laws. They are all connected to Guwahati. Yes. You have the contact brother in law, right? Yes. May I have your Lordship's permission to conclude the proceedings? Uh, the court will assemble for judicial work at 11.15 a.m. Mm -hmm.